The Biafran has become an ideology that the people are now believing that, oh, we are highly marginalized in this country. Whether the devil like it or not, or the people like it or not, we want to have our own country, we want to have our own nation. And the people now said, okay, whether you like it or not, remain together with Nigeria. And the more they are trying to bring them together in Nigeria, the more the people are feeling cheated. This is an ideology of the whole world and everything. It has been from ages to ages. And this is all about what we should understand. That is what's called change. And change is inevitable. As long as there is injustice, as long as there is marginalization, as long as not what is called equal right and justice, fairness, people will always turn to the other side of freedom. And people will always want what is called freedom. And so the people and stakeholders on the face of the earth should be able to come on the level, what is called a level playing ground, where everybody should sit down and air their mind and agree on the way forward. Because the way it is in the realm of the spirit, a lot of battles are going on. People want to be free. People want to be delivered. People want to be liberated. People want to fight. People want to do different things. And all of this thing that is happening is happening because it's happening for a time. The real world and the main time and the main thing is yet to come. And this main thing that is yet to come is the war of darkness and light. Darkness will not rule forever. Darkness will not plumb the earth forever. The light is going to shine one day. And that light is Jesus Christ. And the Bible said the light will shine in darkness. And darkness will not comprehend it. Whether the world like it or not, heaven will surely come one day. And when the heaven comes one day, there's going to be what is called the move of the Spirit and the move of God Almighty. We must do everything possible and allow what is called the peace to reign. Let peace reign in every ramification and every level. Let the peace of God that passes all understanding reign everywhere so that the perfect will of God can be accomplished. So that that which God has ordained can be because there's something God has already ordained. Whether the devil like it or not, the ordination of God and what God has ordained will surely come to pass. So people of God all over the world, we must all join our hands to pray for the peace of the world. We must pray for the hand of the Lord to take over on the face of the earth. We must continue to pray and asking God to step in and remedy the situation because the situation is a situation that can get out of hand. We must continue to pray and never to be tired. This is why a songwriter wrote a song and he said, Everybody continue to pray, I will never be tired. Continue to pray, I will never be tired. Everybody continue to pray, I will never be tired. Continue to pray, I will never be tired. Everybody continue to pray, I will never be tired. I will never be tired. Continue to pray, I will never be tired. I said continue to pray, I will never be tired. Everybody continue to pray, I will never be tired. It is very important we do that prayer. It's very important we pray for the peace of the world. When we do this, we will also be our brother's keeper. We will be the people God will use to help the world. Yes, never be tired in prayers. Never give up in prayers. Prayer is the key that opens the door. And I want to let you know that when we are praying this prayer, it is also working for us in another way around. It's also working for us the way we didn't expect. You cannot pray for the peace of the world and not have peace. You cannot pray for the peace of the world and not have the hand of God 
upon your life and God defending you and God protecting you and God making a way for you. God will surely make a way for you and I. For we are the people of God. We are the children of God. We are the children of the light and the light will continue to shine in every ramification. I am also advancing on the program that says a heavenly intervention. When I talk about heavenly intervention, I'm talking about the matters you cannot handle on your own. There are too many matters in people's life they cannot handle. And the worst thing that can happen to a person is to die in silence. The worst thing that can happen to you is to nurse your problem alone until the problem destroys you. No, that will not be your portion. Don't nurse anything that you know you cannot handle on your own. But I know that faith is the key to handling everything. But there is sin. Sometimes it is good you talk to somebody. It is very good you talk to somebody. The Bible said there's no problem that comes to a man that has more than the man. That any problem that is coming to you, God has already made a way of escape. All that is needed is for you to understand that God has made a way. He has made a way of escape. And the way of escape that God has made, you will enter into that way and you will escape every program of the devil. That's why a songwriter said, I don't know how we did it. He made the way. Don't know how he did it. He made the way. I don't know how he did it, but he made the way. I don't know how he did it. He made the way. Before you go through any issue, God has already made a way. And that way is called the way of escape. That way is called the way of moving forward, the way of victory. The way that you enter and everything is solved and everything is settled. So God makes a way where there is no way. Because God knows everything you are passing through. God understands all your predicaments, all your challenges and everything you are going to do. You are going through in life. I am going to open up the channel so that I can prophesy to as many people as are going to be possible for me to prophesy to. And uh, please, I want you to know that this very prophecy hour is a time to call what is called the direct call. Whether the devil like it or not, there is a blessing hour and the blessing hour has come. And God call it the hour to favor. God bless you. God bless you. It is well with you in Jesus name. Amen. And may the hand of the Lord locate you wherever you are in Jesus name. Any dream you are having that you are not happy with, God is going to step in and God will make a way for you. Amen. Yes, Amen. yes, 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 yes. You know, the month of March is about to finish. Yes, sir. And we are moving into the month of April. Yes, sir. Let the month of April that is coming be a month of your testimony. Amen. Yes, and when it becomes a month of your testimony, every health matter is over. Every health challenge Amen. is over. Every difficulty Amen. is over. The door will open Amen. financially. God will locate your family. And God will settle every one of you. In Jesus' precious name, I pray. Amen. Do, you have Amen. A, do you have any prayer request you want to request? Do you have any prayer request you want to request? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Please pray for pray for my babies. I need I need uh, I, I'm believing God for babies. You are believing God for the fruit of the womb. Yeah, babies, not babies, babies, babies. God will make it happen in Jesus' name. And I want to let you know that there is nothing that God cannot do. There is nothing too hard for God to do. He will make a way for you where there is no way in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. Receive the hand of the Lord upon you. And receive God's visitation. That that baby you pray for will surely come to you in Jesus' name. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for calling. Thank you very much. Dad. Yes. Is there anything that Jesus cannot do? 
Is there anything that Jehovah cannot do? Is there anything oh, that Jesus, Jesus cannot do? do? Oh, is, is there, there anything? anything oh, tell me. Oh. Is there anything that Jesus cannot do? Is there anything oh, that Jesus cannot do?